praise the lord welcome everyone to this wonderful first day of the week and uh, god has a wonderful message for all of you and it's always good to listen to god's word from different people of god who believes in god's word you should know that god's word is final therefore we study god's word you should remember that jesus will never leave you nor forsake you let that word sink in your heart and hold on to it let's see what the lord wants to say to us for this week from god's word if you turn your bible to genesis chapter 35 verse 17 let's read it together if you have your bibles with you and it came about when she was having severe labor pains that the midwife said to her do not be afraid you will have this son also now this is uh, about rachel who was rachel rachel is a wife beloved wife of jacob so what was uh, the situation over here if you read from verse 16 you can see if you have your bibles with you just turn your bibles to that particular verse let me read it for you and they journeyed from bethel okay Jacob was away from Bethel for 20 years. He was in his father-in-law's house. And there he experienced some terrible injustices. But then God paid him back. His payday came and God didn't allow any wrong things to happen to Jacob. And God repaid him back for every injustice. This week God is promising you that he will repay you back everything that you have lost in your life. Maybe some injustice happened to your life. Maybe you are in a wrong place. You are you are saying like this is not the place that I have to be in my life. You you may be thinking that Jacob knew that he was supposed to be in the place where god wanted him to be but actually he ran and came to padan aram which is his father in law's place because of deceiving his brother esau so he knew ultimately that was wrong place that was not god's appointed place but there also god's love was everlasting love god chose jacob and uh, god wants wanted to show his glory through jacob to people of israel and so god repaid him for all the injustices that he faced same way dear god's people you may be also not in a right place but god will definitely repay you back everything that you have faced injustice in your life only like jacob if you obey and listen to god's word now after 20 years with rachel he travels back to bethel god told him that he has to go back to bethel that is his father's house that is where his brother is and also god said to him you have to go back to that place now he goes to that place not with a good uh you know uh condition but he was really afraid because his brother is there he deceived his brother but he obeyed god's voice and he obeyed god's word god is asking you to do something that you don't like to do but you have to obey when you obey you will receive the blessings of god maybe physically to our flesh we don't like to obey what god has asked us to do our flesh is telling us this is not going to happen or you should not do it but i want to tell you 
through god's word you have to obey even your flesh doesn't like it we are spiritual people we have to be led by the spirit of god maybe god is asking you to say something to some people say some good things to some people or give some good report about some people who uh done bad things about you that's a test but if you pass the test you will see greater blessing just like jacob and raichu had from the lord now jacob goes to bethel even though it was difficult and with a still a short distance to go to a fertha Rachel began to give birth and had severe labor pains now we can see here when we obey god there is always pain you have to experience pain when you are asked to do something that is not liked by you but god has asked you to do is it's always labor pain you have to experience pain but there is always a blessing now rachel she began to give birth to a son but she had severe labor pain i i just don't know dear god's people uh what pain you are going through if there is no pain there is no gain maybe in your work in your business or in your family or in your ministry i just don't know what pain you are going through you should take it as it is the blessing from god because when you obey it's not liked it's not good to the flesh but it's always good to the spirit now we see here she goes through labor pain and it came about when she was having severe labor pain that the midwife said to her do not be afraid you will have this son also uh, why did midwives uh, said this to rachel rachel already had a son that is joseph that was a, a boy and joseph was a blessed son of their family but then rachel while traveling uh, from bethel to ephrata she had this severe pain there is a spiritual significance that we are not going to see and study about it but um, i want to tell you something there is pain and there is severe pain when we obey god that is to our flesh but it's ease and it's easy for our spirit but it's always pain and severe pain just because we don't like our flesh doesn't like just because our mind said something if you disobey you will not receive that blessing also the midwife is telling this also is going to be a son which means there is a blessing that's going to be added to your blessing god is going to bless your blessing do you want god to bless your blessing that means you should go on a path of pain and severe pain that means your flesh feels severe pain pain but if you obey god you will see exceeding blessing from god now she went through this labor pain and the midwife said that you will have this also is going to be a son what is the spiritual meaning what revelation god is giving to us is that when we go through pain god's people we will have gain and we will see god's blessing in our life maybe in your life you are going through some pain in your life don't worry god has a word for you that god is telling do not be afraid you will see joy that you are going to reap because of your tears because of your sorrows you will reap joy so dear god's people this whole week you have maybe gone through some pain in your life last week or last month or last year but this coming week you are going to have joyous experience instead of your pain may god bless you through this word because of pain don't 
go back but even if you have a pain keep journeying keep moving forward you will have blessed time and blessings of god is going to shower upon your life just like jacob and rachel had benjamin the son benjamin means son of pain which means he brought joy to the family same way when you take a decision that is not liked by your flesh but still you pursue what god has promised you and god has told you you will definitely reap the harvest of blessing in your life may god bless all of you and let's pray heavenly father we thank you so much lord for speaking to us many times to obey your commandment it's always painful to our flesh but lord jesus your people to make some decisions the major decisions in their life that is commanded by you maybe somebody lord who wants to make a decision to accept you as your lord and savior maybe somebody who is listening to this message lord or uh, or in a in a doubtful mind whether to become a disciple of jesus or they are thinking about whether to go to that place minister to some people maybe they are confused or double minded but today even though this is painful to their flesh yet lord help them to obey your word and lord jesus so that they can see a blessing another added blessing in their life lord we pray that you will continue to bless your people abundantly we give all the honor and glory unto your name we pray in jesus name Amen. Remember one thing, Jesus will never leave you nor forsake you. God bless you all. Fear not I am weak said golden ray like a star of glory lighting up my way through the clouds of midnight this bright promise shows
You've been watching Rays of Peace Ministries. Thank you for tuning into Never Alone program. If you need prayer, call to the number on the screen or email to Pastor Mark Jackamar at hotmail.com. Visit our website www.raysofpeace.com for more information.